dear students i mr vishal shah assistant professor krishna institute of pharmacy karad once again i welcome you all to this my youtube channel today we are going to see the last compound of the polynuclear hydrocarbons that is the triphenyl methane in the previous video we have covered about the diphenyl methane methods of preparation as well as the chemical reactions now if you are coming first time to this my youtube channel this i request you you can watch the previous videos by subscribing to my youtube channel so that you will get the idea about the what are the different compounds that we have covered in the last part now in today's session we are going to see the methods of preparation as well as the chemical reactions of triphenyl methane so let's start with the our today's session before that just we will see what are the learning outcomes of this today's session after this session students will be able to explain methods of preparation and the chemical reactions of triphenyl methane now let's first we will start with the methods that are used for the preparation of the triphenyl methane now before that just we will see what is the actual structure of triphenyl methane now we are familiar with the structure of diphenyl methane where there is a presence of two phenyl rings and between these two phenyl rings there is a presence of a methane as a bridge here just we are going to add one more ring because as name indicates here there is a presence of tri it stands for the three three phenyl rings and they are bridged with the help of this methane group so this is the typical structure of triphenyl methane where you can see this is the one benzene ring second one and third one so these three phenyl rings are present and these are bridged with the help of the one methane molecule that's why this structure is known as the triphenyl methane it is similar to the diphenyl methane just we are going to carry out the addition of the one phenyl group to this particular compound so this is about the structure of triphenyl methane after this we will see what are the different methods that are used for the preparation of this triphenyl methane now there are three different methods are there which are used for the preparation of triphenyl methane now these methods are quite similar like our diphenyl methane that we have seen first method that is used for the preparation of the triphenyl methane is by fiddel crafts reaction where here benzene undergoes condensation reaction with the benzoyl chloride in presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride this anhydrous aluminum chloride is used as a lewis acid catalyst because we know in each every fiddel crafts reaction reaction we are going to use the lewis acid catalyst as aluminum chloride so here benzene and benzoyl chloride sorry benzyl chloride they are reacted with each other in presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride to give us a triphenyl methane so this is the typical reaction which will show us the how we are going to carry out the synthesis of triphenyl methane here you can see benzene when it is reacted with the benzyl chloride in presence of aluminum chloride so here what happens one of the hydrogen atom of this benzene molecule that is the two benzene ring each will be combined with the, this chlorine which leads into the loss of the hcl and there will be bridging of the three phenyl rings will take place which leads into the formation of triphenyl methane so in this way we can carry out the preparation of the triphenyl methane by using benzene as well as the benzyl chloride so very simple method is there where just benzene and benzyl chloride they are reacted in presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride so here benzene undergoes fiddel crafts reaction means the product that is formed it will be formed in the two steps in first step there will be formation of diphenyl compound which further converted into the triphenyl methane so this is about the first method that is used for the preparation of the triphenyl methane then 
the second method that is used for the preparation of the triphenylmethane is from benzaldehyde this method also we have discussed earlier also now just here benzaldehyde is treated with the benzene at the 250 degrees celsius in presence of zinc chloride to give a triphenyl methane so now here instead of the benzyl chloride we are going to replace that benzyl chloride with the help of the benzaldehyde rest of the method is quite same so two moles of benzene when they are reacted with the benzaldehyde in presence of zinc chloride so this mixture is heated at 250 degrees celsius in presence of zinc chloride which leads into the formation of triphenyl methane so in this way we can carry out the preparation of triphenyl methane by using the benzaldehyde so just we are going to replace the benzyl chloride that earlier we have used with the help of the benzaldehyde so again again two moles of benzene when they are reacted with the benzaldehyde that also leads into the formation of the triphenyl methane so this is about the second method that is used for the preparation of triphenyl methane where triphenyl methane is obtained from the benzaldehyde then the third method that is used for the preparation of triphenyl methane is from again benzene where here benzene on condensation reaction with the benzaldehyde also gives a triphenyl methane where the benzene is reacted with the chloroform so two moles of the benzene when they are reacted with the chloroform in presence of aluminum chloride and the benzaldehyde which leads into the formation of the triphenyl methane here the difference is that we are going to perform the condensation reaction so that the benzene that is the two moles of benzene when they are reacted with each other which leads into the formation of the triphenyl methane so these are the various methods that are used for the preparation of the triphenyl methane first reaction that we have seen is by Friedel-Crafts reaction where we have carried out the reaction between the benzene and benzyl chloride in presence of aluminum chloride to give us a triphenyl methane in second reaction we have prepared triphenyl methane with the help of the benzaldehyde in this case two moles of benzene when they are reacted with benzaldehyde in presence of zinc chloride gives us a triphenyl methane so this is about the second method that is used and in third method benzene on condensation with the chloroform and benzaldehyde in presence of aluminum chloride it will be converted into the triphenyl methane so in this way we can carry out the preparation of the triphenyl methane now after completion of the methods used for the preparation of the triphenyl methane next point is the different chemical properties that are shown by the triphenyl methane now first chemical property that is shown by triphenyl methane is acidity when triphenyl methane is treated with sodium it forms the triphenyl methyl sodium so sodium salt is formed so this formation of sodium salt of the triphenyl methane it indicates that the there will be formation uh, of the sodio triphenyl methyl salt now also formation of this particular product will indicate the acidic nature of the triphenyl methane because here you can see that sodium metal is reacted with the hydrogen atom of the ch and due to which there will be formation of the salt will take place so this indicates that the triphenyl methane is showing the acidic behavior then second chemical property that is shown by the triphenyl methane is bromination this is the one of the substitution reaction where the triphenyl methane when undergoes the bromination in presence of the bromine now you can remember here that we are not going to perform the electrophilic substitution reaction because we are not getting bromine substituted at the aromatic ring that is the this phenyl ring 
rather than you can see when triphenylmethane when it is reacted with the bromine the bromine will be substituted at the carbon that is the methane bridge that is present between these three phenyl rings so here this is not counted as an electrophilic substitution reaction where triphenylmethane undergoes bromination to give us a triphenyl methyl bromide so different product is generated which is known as the triphenyl methyl bromide so in this way we can perform the bromination reaction remember here bromination is not electrophilic substitution reaction so this is about the second reaction that is shown by the triphenyl methane then next chemical property that is shown by the triphenyl methane is oxidation where in this case triphenyl methane undergoes oxidation in presence of chromium trioxide which leads into the formation of triphenyl carbinol where this can be represented with the help of this reaction where you can see this is the triphenyl methane which undergo oxidation in presence of chromium trioxide which leads into the formation of triphenyl carbinol so wherever whatever this carbon atom is there at this particular position the oxidation reaction will take place which leads into the formation of the triphenyl carbinol or the hydroxyl group is added alkyl group is converted into the alcoholic functional group and that's why this reaction is known as the tri uh, uh, oxidation which leads into the formation of triphenyl carbinol so these are the various chemical properties that are shown by the triphenyl methane so only three chemical properties that are shown by the triphenyl methane so in this video we have det in detail we have seen how to carry out the synthesis of triphenyl methane and which are the different chemical properties that are shown by the triphenyl methane in methods of preparation we have synthesized it from the friedel crafts reaction then from benzaldehyde and from benzene in chemical properties we have seen three chemical reactions first one is acidic character which is also known as the acidity where triphenyl methane when it is treated with the sodium as it forms the triphenyl methyl sodium salt formation of this salt indicates that the behavior of the triphenyl methane is acidic because generally sodium that is which forms the NaOH it is behaving like a base so as it is reacting with the base it shows that the acidic character of the triphenyl methane then second reaction that we have seen is bromination where triphenyl methane undergoes bromination to give us a triphenyl methyl bromide remember here this reaction is not electrophilic substitution reaction rather bromine will be attached at the carbon atom of the methane bridge that is present between the three phenyl rings then last chemical reaction that we have seen is oxidation where triphenyl methane undergoes oxidation with chromium trioxide which leads into the formation of the triphenyl carbinol so these are the various chemical properties that are shown by the this triphenyl methane so this is about this is the end of this particular triphenyl methane molecule so if you have any queries related to the pharmaceutical organic chemistry you can write me at the this particular email id thank you very much if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel once again i request you you can subscribe to my youtube channel to get the more videos related to the this pharmaceutical organic chemistry thank you thank you very much